Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn multiplication facts. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 3 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets and quizzes for each chapter. You can find them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. So, let's start and see the first multiplication fact. The fact says numbers can be multiplied in any order, their product remains the same. For example, let's take any two numbers like 6 and 8. If we do 6 multiplied by 8, we get 48. But if we reverse the order and we do 8 multiplied by 6, then also we get their product as 48. Let's take one more example. 10 multiplied by 9 equals to 90. Now, Reverse the order and do 9 multiplied by 10. Then also their product is 90. So this is the multiplication fact 1 which says that numbers can be multiplied in any order. Their product remains the same. Now let's see the second multiplication fact. When a number is multiplied by 1. The product is the number itself. For example, if we multiply 8 by 1, we will get the product as 8. Similarly, if we multiply 23 by 1, we will get the product as 23 itself. So it means whenever a number is multiplied by 1, the product will be the number itself. Now let's see the last multiplication fact. When a number is multiplied by 0, the product is always 0. For example, if we multiply 7 by 0, we will get the product as 0. In the same way, we take any other number like 45, 65, 10 and multiply that number by 0, we will get the product as 0. So students, these are the three multiplication facts. We have a video on complete chapter of multiplication for class 3. I am sure all your doubts related to multiplication would be resolved after watching this comprehensive video. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now, let's do some practice. Question 1 is 88 multiplied by 1 equals to dash. Answer is 88 because we learned in multiplication fact 2 that when a number is multiplied by 1, the product is the number itself. Next question is, 660 multiplied by 0 equals to dash. Answer is 0 because according to fact number 3, when a number is multiplied by 0, the product is always 0. Students, we have a very interesting activity to learn addition in a fun way. I am sure you would love to watch this activity. The link to this activity is here on the top and in the description box. Now C part is 68 multiplied by 5 equals to 5 multiplied by dash. Can you tell me the answer? 
Yes, it is 68. Because fact number 1 is numbers can be multiplied in any order. Their product remains the same. Now next question is 77 multiplied by dash equals to 0. So what would be the answer here? Answer is 0. Because we have got the product as 0 and we know that when a number is multiplied by 0, then only the product is 0. Students, if you want to learn multiplication with the help of a creative and interesting activity, then I would recommend you to watch this video. Again, you will find the link to this video below in the description box. Let's see the next question. 67 multiplied by dash equals to 7 multiplied by dash. So here we have to fill two blanks. Answer to first blank is 7. And answer to second blank is 67. Do you know the reason? Yes, because we learned that numbers can be multiplied in any order. Their product will remain the same. Now the next question is 220 multiplied by dash equals to 220. Can you tell me the answer here? Yes, it is 1. Because when a number is multiplied by 1, then only the product will be the number itself. We also have videos on complete chapter of shapes and patterns as well as for time and calendar. I am sure you will find these videos very useful for you. So do watch these videos. Let's see the next question. 880 multiplied by 1 equals to dash. Answer is 880 because when a number is multiplied by 1, the product is the number itself. Next question is, Sneha wants to distribute 1 chocolate each to her 34 friends. How many chocolates will she need to purchase? So here, to find number of chocolates to be purchased, we will multiply 34 by 1, which is equals to 34. Now the last question is, is this correct? 18 into 3 equals to 3 into 6 into 3. So here students, 6 into 3 can also be written as 18. Therefore, 18 into 3 equals to 3 into 18. So this statement is correct because we learned in fact 1, numbers can be multiplied in any order, their product remains the same. So now I am sure you understood all the multiplication facts. Do watch our video on complete chapter of multiplication and share our videos and our channel further. Thanks for watching.